Now it's time to talk about the difference between angle and direction. If I have two lines that intersect, we can say the angle between those two lines is the difference in direction. So an angle is the difference in direction of two lines. Now, you're used to thinking in terms of direction as things like north and south, east and west, or northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. Well, we can describe direction in terms of angular measure. For instance, let's think then about a direction with an angular description. You know that on a compass we have a circle which has north at one side, south on the opposite side, and then 90 degrees off of that to the right we'll have east and west. Well, a system of direction that we call azimuth starts at zero and calls zero or it starts at north and calls zero, north zero degrees. And then I think you may, can understand that we would call east 90 degrees, right? South would be 180, west would be 270, and then north would also be 360. So that means we have angles or we have directions that advance in an angular fashion in the clockwise direction. CW here stands for clockwise. So an, a line that points this direction and that is 45 degrees away from north, we would say has an azimuth of 45 degrees. So consider in a case like this, if the direction of this line is 60 degrees, we'll say the direction equals 60 degrees, and this direction here equals, oh, let's call that 106 degrees, then the difference in that direction I think you can do the math and realize the difference in those two directions is 46 degrees, right? We took 106 minus 60 degrees, and we got 46. That is the difference in those two directions. Okay, so azimuth is a type of direction, and it is... Uh, considered relative to north, and it always runs clockwise. So let's think about some other lines here. If I have a line that goes off in this direction, well, we're going to measure that relative to north. So let's say this angle here is 130 degrees. Okay, well, then we would say its azimuth is 130. Let's consider something that is 20 degrees above west. Okay, think about that. Well, if it's 20 degrees above west, it's going to be 20 past or clockwise from and increasing beyond 270. So this line, let's call this line AB. The azimuth of AB we'll say is 290 degrees, right? Does that make sense? So Azimuth increases in the clockwise direction. Now, let's contrast this 
with a system that we call bearing. Bearing is something you'll see in um, surveying documents. A specific type of surveying document is called that shows survey measurements is called a plat. And we use these plats to make maps of land boundaries. So the traditional angular or the direction system we use on plats is bearing. So in bearing, we also have north, south, east, and west. And when we consider bearing, instead of having a system that has zero degrees up here at north and 360, we have systems of quadrants, okay? So you're going to see zero degrees showing up at north and south, and you're going to see 90 degrees showing up at east and west. So in azimuth, in azimuth, we said the we didn't say it directly, but you may have figured out that our angle, angle, we'll call this, we'll give this our little angle symbol here, two lines with an arc between them. Our angle can be as little as zero degrees and as much as 360 degrees. But in bearing, Our angular range is going to be zero degrees. Here's my angle symbol. Up to 90 degrees. Because everything stays in its own quadrant. So let's think about this. If we have some line that has an angle relative to north of 60 degrees, then we're going to call this north 60 degrees east. Okay. How, how does that work? Well, we start from north and we go toward the east 60 degrees. In this quadrant, if I draw another direction down here and let's say this is 70 degrees, then this one will be south 70 degrees east. We started at south, and we went toward the east by 70 degrees. So in a bearing, you're not only going to have an angular value between 0 and 90, you're also going to have letters. You're going to start with north or south. That's where we start. And we're going to end with east or west. That's the end of our expression.